Now obviously I've just done a review of the x Ultra Ultralight Alcohol Stove. Uh, I'll put a link up here in the screen if you want to watch that. But I've been sent out a new stove system from Outdoor Gear Essentials. So this consists of a windscreen, which is also a pot stand, and the Outdoor Gear Essentials alcohol stove. So I'll get this set up and I'll show you how it works. So basically this is a windshield similar to the ones that I make and sell for my ultralight table that stick on top of it. Um, it's held together with a band which Outdoor Gear Essentials also sell. They're quite handy. Uh, they're basically designed to go around your pot so it's like a cross band. That means you can do away with the, uh, the bag if you don't want to carry the bag and it holds your lid and everything else neatly on top. I'll put a link in the description below for all these bits and pieces if you do want to buy them. So basically this is a five piece aluminium windshield. Um, it's got two holes drilled in it and it is designed so that you connect it together to make it secure in one piece. So you just run the skewer part through this end. Can be a bit fiddly, but I've had plenty of experience of doing these things when I've been making them. So there's your windshield and then this little skewer here goes through the whole one side and out the other and that becomes a stand for your pot. You'll have to excuse if you can hear any shooting in the background. The day I'll come out to do this is the day the uh, Royal Marine Commandos have decided to come out and start doing some training. So basically once you've got your water in here you pop it inside there. Oh hello Doug. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's all right. Does have a little visitor. He might be on YouTube. <laughs> so as you can see here, the pot just sits solidly inside here, and you've got a full windshield all the way around it. Now I'm going to do a burn test on this and do a comparison uh, to see what it is like against the uh, the Descati stove and also the X boil. So inside here, very similar setup to the other ones, you've got a, a, a fire retardant material inside here, so that soaks up the alcohol, you light it, and away you go. Okay, so I'm going to fill this stove with my methylated spirits mixed with 10% water. In case you don't know, that basically stops soot forming on the bottom of the pan. Possibly put a bit too much in there. Okay, that's lit. We can literally just lift the whole thing, put it on top. So I'm going to put half a litre of water in, same as my previous ones. Start the stopwatch. Okay, so that's just about boiled now, and we're just over the nine minute mark. And if you can see that there, nine minutes and seven seconds. Okay, so the downside to this is it's still boiling, bubbling away, and I can't actually lift it off because these handles are absolutely boiling hot. So I'm gonna have to let that burn out. Uh, but it'd be a good idea to get some of those little pot grippers, which again, uh, I believe they sell on Outdoor Gear Essentials website. So it is quite windy here today. You can see the steam blowing across the, uh, the forest as I'm uh, boiling the water up. But it's performed pretty well. So this whole setup with the windshield, uh, the band that goes around it, the um, stand for the pot that goes through it, and also the burner itself, comes in 85 grams. So not quite as light, obviously, as the x boil system, but that is titanium and a lot more expensive. This is made in the UK, next day delivery, and a lot cheaper than the x boil so if you can put up with a few extra grams, maybe this is the one for you. So if you fancy getting yourself an ultralight alcohol stove, made in Britain, a decent price, check out Outdoor Gear Essentials, link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, and I will see you all in the next one.